What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So we're about to hit the road. We're heading back over to McBride Racing. We went and had some of our chassis and our cage uh, updated so we can go a little faster next year. Check out what our cage looks like now. Uh, check out the, the material and, and how we ran it. Stay tuned, stick around. Let's get on in the video. guys we're here Whew. that was a haul kind of there was like a bunch of fog it was terrible couldn't see like 30 feet out in front of me i mean it's a kind of a warm day on in ohio yeah being it's in december you know supposed to be snow on the ground that's like 50 degrees what up what up what up what's up, <laughs> what's up? i apologize for uh Taking so, so much damn time. There she yeah. is. We've all been there. I know, I know. What is this? Woo! This is a customer's customer project. Can I uh, look at it? Mm -hmm. And I'm just doing the cold side because You're nobody, it up. nobody makes a Pro Charger kit to put a coyote in one of these. So. <laughs> I would think not. What is the 68? 7, I believe. 67? Well, that's. That's beautiful, bro. Is that, <laughs> this is Joe's patina look? Yeah. Did he clear that? No. He should. All that's fake though. When is he, it really? Yeah, those were new painted fresh fenders when he got the fenders. And he purposely sanded it down and did that to match the rest of the car. Then what do you do, put like Coca-Cola on it or some shit? Uh, vinegar. That looks cool. I like the, dude, I like the patina looks. I'm kind of getting into it a little bit. Oh, is this what you're doing to his car? You're, Ooh, look at that. He had a tube front end put on it. Who did? Oh, no, Mike did this. He Mike did a, Moss, yeah, yeah, he did a really nice job. So I do like the patina look. Yeah, he's, it's different. He's going to be lightweight for sure, man. Real nice wheels with the patina look. <laughs> <laughs> this car doesn't weigh shit. Man. So what, what's he... What's he doing to it? Basically adding cage. It had a 347 in it. Right. He's putting a 408 in it. Oh boy. You know about them 408s, don't you? Yeah. So he'll still <laughs> He's be got a 408. I got a 408. He'll He's getting a 408. And he'll still be a nitrous car. So. Oh man, that's going to be tough to beat. That's good shit, Joe. On the channel. He just wants to show up and be able to hang with you guys finally. No, man. <laughs> I can't get down the track, bro. You know that shit. I don't know how to shift. That car don't know how to shift. So what'd you do here, man? Look at yours. So if you guys remember last time, he, he, he put the, uh, you were actually cutting this off, weren't you? Or did yeah. you have these in? Nope, yeah. I was still in the process of getting Look at them welds, the man. Wow. This is all chrome molly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, what is that, inch and five eighths? Inch yep. and three quarter? Inch and five eighths. So Damn, with the weight of these put back on, it took 77 pounds off the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> I may have to deal with that one day. <laughs> That's cool, man. This this coyote swap though, man, is crazy. You may be a regular visitor. I may here we go. <laughs> this is this is a beautiful, beautiful build. They do a lot of fabrication as you don't know. You're an instructor. Yep. So you do this all day, every day, and you work at stainless work. So he built headers on it. So. Yeah, a lot of technical college. A lot uh, of tech I, college, yeah. License. I do the, uh, the high performance and racing program. Really? So Where, I, where's that at? Downtown Cleveland. Really? Yeah, so I get to play race car all day, every day. <laughs> so this is your life. <laughs> <laughs> come Na home and naturally. Do it. So I'm in the right damn place. Right. My car did come to the right place, for right. sure. So we teach it by day, and then we uh, race it by night. We, or, uh, Build them by night and race them by weekend. Hell yeah! Did did Joe did, did Joe throw shit in my turbo? You yeah. know he, you know he did. He probably threw a big. Uh, he <laughs> took that spray foam. And yeah, spray we got the spray foam. He <laughs> wanted to quiet her down a little bit. All right, so this is what he did. <clears throat> so we had to take the gauge pillar off. We're gonna have to actually. We're gonna be doing some new gauge pillars anyways. But he came through the dash here. I had the roll bar cage here. So what I wanted to do for my safety is I needed to get the cage done here on the top. So he did the halo bar like he had talked about. He sent me some pictures of it and this looks amazing. Here he, he actually tied in the 
pillar bar into my roll cage. Is that is that standard? Is that what you have to do? Is that well, just that way, if anything ever happens, mm -hmm. that bar won't collapse back. Nice. Okay. Cross your feet. Okay. But that's that's not something that has to happen on the cert. That's just something you do. No, that's just that's that's additional. Yeah, that's that's smart. I'd rather you be safe. That's right. And I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This looks amazing. It's it's there for safety. Hopefully, we never have to use it. But right. We <clears> wanna <throat> we wanna make sure that everybody's as safe as they can be. Let me get in it. So we pulled this. The seat. I moved this because I pulled the seat out. So what's a cage? Okay. So if somebody was interested, let's talk about that real quick. If somebody showed up at your shop, kind of like Joe and myself, or even this resto mod, mm -hmm. and they wanted to get a full. Let's say, let's, let's say this, what is it, six, eight point roll bar first in chrome molly. What would something like that cost? It? Uh, give or take, give or take, you're probably on an eight point, you're probably somewhere between three and four, depending on what the material is. Three and four thousand? Three and four thousand. So to add the, the pillar and the halo. Yeah. Then, then to add that additional later, you know, depending on the material. Or doing that all at once. Doing it all at once. Um, you know, you're probably you know in that ballpark again. So it's just get, it's it's the fact of getting it all done at once. Yeah, you know if if you're going to update your car, mm -hmm. or you know you're building the car and eventually this is where you want to be, it's a lot easier to do it. That's what I at did the in the beginning. Do. Yeah, because you know then it's it's done. You know, everything's built together. Correct. And everything's going to fit a lot better when you're updating. You know, you got a lot of work because you got to make it fit to what's there at the same time, making sure that, you know, we keep enough headroom, mm -hmm. you know, and get it up high enough, get everything out wide enough. Plus, when you're building the car, there's a lot of stuff that's not in the way. So, <laughs> you mean like mine? You know, like on this side here, down in, in behind here, I had to go out and around the bracket for the pedal support. Okay. On that side, you have to come back because you got that big uh built into the bulkhead for the heat and air mm -hmm. so you're back a little bit here and you're trying to match everything as close as possible a lot of effort yeah <laughs> well it's just you know and that's the thing people don't realize is you know when you're doing this stuff you know because the, the time. times the materials the cheapest part right it's you know the hours of you know get take it stuff. in put it out take and, it in right you know, if if I counted just taking these bars in and out, I probably had them in and out checking the fitment and, you know, working them to get them to where we wanted, you know, probably a hundred times in and out. Jeez. You know, especially when you're trying to fit everything. And what makes your platform tough is, you know, you're trying to keep it as street interior street looking as possible. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely like what you did because it's like I try to keep the street form right. ish. And when I go to a car show or I'll go to like a YouTube event, right? Like I'll have my full interior in there, yeah. and then they'll see all this caged up and they'll be like, "Damn!" Right? You know what I mean? I mean, you. That's, and that just, and that's what takes. It just time. adds to the spice to it. Right. You know what I mean? I like it so. And that's the. This is. There he goes. This is good. Look at this. Did you try the helmet on? Should be all right, huh? Should be all right. Yep, you'll just have to put put that high density padding on it. That okay. Don't put the pool. You couldn't get any closer anyway. Nope. You guys didn't do any burnouts, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I made a mark right here in a tire, pal. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we made the burnout noises. <laughs> and then. Yeah.
Yeah, you'll get it. Appreciate you'll remember it. it's there after a while. Yeah, after it puts a couple knots on my head, huh, Stevie? <laughs> Brief momentary of darkness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like, oh, maybe I'm like, let's turn the big light on. And then I flipped it and I was like, oh, that was yeah. So, what'd you guys think of the first video? It's good. I always like putting my friends out there, especially those who have, uh, if you have a skill, use it. You know what I mean? Right. And you guys have a very specific skill that, you know, uh, with welding especially, you know, being very, very good at it. Um, if you guys, like I said, if you guys remember the 3,000 horsepower Maverick. Maverick. You did a bunch of welding on that, and that's... Uh, yes. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did all the welding on, like, the front frame rails we added. Mm -hmm. uh, I built the headers, the entire hot side, the cold side. Yeah. So yeah, Bosco spoke volumes of that. Yeah, yeah. Me and Dan spent it was I think it was four years together working on that. Yeah, huge project. Yeah. That's you know that's here on the channel. You guys will see more of that coming out next year. But I do appreciate you guys uh, doing uh, doing it up for me. Hey, no Absolutely. worries, thank you. So now we are safe. Uh, I can actually I got to get my crash bar on the front and get my chute, my dry shaft loop. Uh, there's a there's a number of other like safety problems with my car that you know we need to make sure it goes straight uh, we're gonna put those avcos on the front get it to squat in the back and a new set of crusader you know double adjustables but outside of that we're just putting a new clutch in it and sending it sweet i mean go. it was 580s the way it sat last year got to get a line lock on it so i don't ruin my strange brakes i gotta get my double b locks on yeah hopefully the stick shift class gets uh gets a lot bigger in ohio next year yeah from what i've seen it's been growing from when i first started the no prep scene three or four years ago it's grown substantially especially the stick class yeah. especially the stick class would, you know the stripper glitter d team yeah you know he's well did, are you going to have stick shift of every one of your venues and he's like yeah all 10 races next year yeah they're all going to have stick shift in hard tire and uh, small tire so Look at this guy. That's Joe himself. What did he, what'd you do to my turbo? Slow you down. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, you're building a 408 with a big nitrous, and you worry about me going slow yep. or fast. Yep. Your car is going to be lift with wings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 408 is nothing to play with. That, that motor is probably one of my favorite motors outside of the 420. <laughs> this is Joe Sambita. Uh, he's got the uh, patina four cylinder in there. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that shit next year, ain't I? <laughs> Off trailer. I feel, I feel first, now. Now, yeah, first round call. Oh yeah. Oh, I would be. I'd be okay with that because I'd be like, shit, I can go home early today. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no chip draw. On shit, that. I can't nope. get that thing down the track, but nope. <laughs> no, oh, I'm just kidding. Careful right. what you wish for, huh? Right. I'm right. gonna go get started. Right. right. Uh, go fast. <laughs> go five? I'd like to. I'd like to see a 580, 590 out of it. Yeah, that's where we were at right at the end. Stick ship is worth that, man. Win or lose. Like you see me it's with so me, me, me and John. Good. Yeah. Uh, me and John Kinner at Pacemakers. It was a great time. I, I think, my seat was uh, bouncing. I swear I, I left. You I was like bracing that sucker. Well that's I have it at home. Oh do you? I didn't have it in the car. I was like, ah. Yeah, and then I watched the video and I'm like, dude, I'm bouncing all over yeah, the place. Well, I mean, think of how much you're throwing yourself off shifting, too. Right. When it launched, it brought the car up. I got about six inches under three, four inches, whatever. You could see it come up. And then it came down and it unloaded. That's right. where I need new shocks and struts. Right. And then my seat bounced. So yeah. I went to pull second and it was like, nah. We're but then good. I pulled it again. It was fine, but I had I ran out of real estate. You can We're see right at the end of the race. About another 50 feet, 100 feet, I'd have got it. But right. hear me out. So, so so like a a car. Car. This guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> 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 what trans break? What trans break? We dumb clutches that. around. My converter's yeah. super tight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one to one, bro. Right. right, right. <laughs> uh, I should go with a centered iron, but then I got to go to a tamer. I'm just gonna stay with the RX THD, uh, or, freaking. Or get a slipper clutch. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we've been pretty successful with what we have, so mm -hmm. I'm That's just gonna. I, mean, I got the RXT in mind. The HD, the 1200. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a really good clutch. It's a very good clutch. Because it almost slips for you, but it'll catch and grab. It's it's a very drivable clutch too. Like mm -hmm. driving it, freeway. Well, I mean, it's stoplight and stoplight. It's like butter. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's this, what's this guy doing, man? We're gonna, he, he, he says he's missing a no prep class. We'll, we'll learn. There you go, man. We'll learn. We'll learn you. 
We could put a T5 in that bitch? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, we'll put a magnum in that sucker. We'll be cleaning up at every no prep race. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You go that. last. I'm going to put like a Liberty or a Lanko in it. Oh, uh, you can't run a Lanko. Oh, H pattern. We're going to come out with a new stick class. A Liberty should be fine. A Liberty pattern, aren't they? Um, I have a Liberty. Liberty? You mean, you're talking about Are a face plate? Is your safe oh, they're ratchet. Are they? Okay. Is your synchronized? Yeah. Yeah, it's out of the box from Summit. I never did it. TKX. No, no, no. You no. have a T56. It's, it's a magnum. Okay. <laughs> well, do you have the close or the open ratio? Uh, 266 or the 266. Yeah, that's the close. Yeah. I have, yeah. The, I have the wide 297. I wish I, 295? I wish I would have never went with that. They're really not that bad priced. It was like 3400 out the door with tax. Yeah. It wasn't bad. Um, the 266 is the one to have. My 295, there's a gear drop between three and four. You can see it in my video. If you watch my videos, I'll be bang, bang, bang. And I go to hit four. I'm, I'm shifting fourth at 500 feet. What gear do you have in your car? 355. I mean, I could gear it up. Dang, okay. But you could see that gear drop. I'm, I'm in fourth gear for 700 feet. Mm -hmm. But it, and then it only comes to the traps at 66, 67. I'm a 28. Be going through the trap. So. This is my this is my first year with 28. Yeah, I had 26. These are these are sweet. These are the do six. Why'd you go with do sixes? Uh, just because I wanted to go with a nine inch wide instead of ten. Ah uh, yes yes. It would actually. So no prep. It's what is it? The the Hoosiers co sevens. Co sevens and do sixes. Um, kind of the cat's ass. It's very common. Um, just looking for that for that class. Yeah, this is pretty dope. All right, guys, so you guys enjoy the soda videos. Let me know what you guys think of uh, McBride Racing. And the fabrication alone is, there's so much time involved in this shit. It's a lost art. And, you know, it's, you, you, when you find somebody that you can rely on and you can, <clears throat> you know, you can trust, you know what I mean? Um, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a hard feat to get that. And I appreciate what you guys did. Uh, we appreciate you. I, that, that halo and pillow bar I needed for a long time, dude. Yeah. Like a lot, man. <laughs> Riding dirty. God, I mean, Riding dirty. dirty. I'll see you guys soon in the next video.